Good morning, my beautiful people. Hi guys. It's been a while since the last video, but the last few weeks have just been a little busy for me. I ended up giving birth, just into the whole new mom life and how time consuming it is. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video I put out because I had so much fun filming that. But I just wanted to kind of stop in and update you guys a little bit on everything that's been going on. Um, yeah, I've just been trying to adjust to the whole new being a mom and learning my baby and you know, it's hectic. I just ate breakfast, I'm drinking some coffee when my baby's sleeping. Um, and I decided for this video, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a weekly vlog. So I have some stuff coming up this week. Like I wanna get my lashes done, I'm gonna do my nails. Um, just so I can start feeling like myself, even though I really don't feel like myself. Um, but it takes time. But yeah, I haven't done my lashes since probably like a month before I gave birth, I stopped doing them. Um, so yeah, I just want to look alive a little bit. So I have a lash appointment next Saturday, I believe. And then I have a nail appointment this upcoming Thursday. I probably go get my feet done, all that good stuff. Just pamper myself a little bit because maybe it'd be rough out in these streets. You feel me? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to stop in, say hi, see how you guys are doing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be showing my baby just because, yeah, I'm probably not on YouTube. Um, but if you do want to see her, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll link everything down below. Um, just because there's a lot of weirdos. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next clip. Good morning. It's Monday the 20, 21st of March. Just getting ready to go to the doctors so they could check my C-section scar. Well, I'm gonna go have a lunch. Probably go do some shopping with my good sis. Baby's in the car seat right now. I'll show you guys her outfit in a little bit. So I'm trying to pick an outfit. And I'm gonna wear these jeans, maybe a bodysuit. Um, I'm probably not gonna wear these jeans. I don't know. I'm so indecisive. I think these are heavy enough. I'm gonna put these on because I don't wanna wear anything that's gonna cut into my. Not cut into, but like lay over where my scar is because it's already on. So I'm gonna wear this top. This. I'm also pumping, so I need something that is easy to take off. So I'm gonna put this top on, bring my baby over here so I can finish getting ready and watch her at the same time. I got her in the car seat because once I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't have a long wearer, sorry. But this is the top with these jeans. I mean, late as hell. Let me do something to this hair. I'm not wearing any makeup because, baby, who got time for that? I was trying to find some bobby pins to pin my hair up, but I guess I'm going to Everybody be like, oh my god, just some bracelet. All my curly heads. No. How much of a struggle? 
So I stopped taking my prenatals because honestly, I just be busy. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to, but I feel like I'm getting a bald spot like right here. deodorant and then for perfume i'm wearing the chanel um essence yeah it was a gift from my big daddy so for some of that i just smell good put some of this on there i just think it will be And then I'm gonna show you. Look at this. She took off her shoes. I'm gonna show you her little cute outfit. Let me fix her shoes. Mama, how you take off your shoes? How you take off your shoes, baby? We're going out. Let's see your hands. Okay. So now that my baby is ready, I'm just rambling. So yeah, I told you I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. So this is the first day of my week. I have a lash appointment on Saturday, nail appointment on Thursday. So yeah. Excuse the mess in my house. So I'm gonna just pair it with this jacket. All right, I gotta go, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Um, I really didn't do much shopping. I just got my baby some stuff because that's what it's like being a mom now. You forget about yourself and you just shop for your baby. Um, so she's currently sleeping. While she's sleeping, I'm gonna take advantage and pump. Um, get some stuff done around the house because she's gonna wake up in a few to eat. Just wanted to drop in and let you guys know, basically give you an update. Um, yeah, I'm tired. Probably just gonna relax for the rest of the day. Um, I don't feel like cooking, so I'm gonna order out today. And then, yeah, I'll drop in later this week. Um, to show you guys I do have my nail appointment this Thursday so I'm excited I'm definitely gonna record and show you guys that because um, I found a nail tech that comes to your house which is so convenient being that I'm home with the baby all day and I just feel bad leaving her so okay so I'm currently almost four weeks postpartum um, and I probably should do a video on my whole like birth experience I'll probably do that later on anyways um so I'm currently four weeks postpartum it'll be four weeks on Wednesday um if you don't know now you know I did have a c-section I ended up having to have an emergency c-section just because there were like complications um while being induced and all that um, so before giving birth, my plan was always to breastfeed my baby. Um, I was really adamant about that and it's just something that I wanted to do for her because I know that it's so much better for them. Um, and in the beginning after having her, it was really hard for me to produce milk just because when you have a C-section, um, your body, like it doesn't really register with your body that the baby's out. So your milk tends to take a little bit longer than like when you let's say push her out or him or her out naturally um so in the beginning of my i guess you could say recovery i had a really hard time producing milk um it was very like frustrating discouraging um and on top of that my baby don't latch so the past few weeks i've basically just been pumping 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 like crazy to basically try to build up my supply and be able to give her that milk because i still want to give it to her even if she doesn't latch so 
I just want to show you guys because I'm so proud of myself. I literally pump probably like six or seven times a day. I don't pump at night just because I'd be tired and she keeps me up. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to get better with that because I know that will build my supply even more. But I just want to show you guys. This is one sitting. Ignore that noise in the back on um, pumping. One sitting from both breasts i pumped three ounces and i'm showing you guys this excuse my nails because they need jesus i'm showing you guys this because i'm so proud of myself and if there's somebody out there who's looking to pump i mean to breastfeed or just feeling discouraged just know consistency is key just keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it um, I'm still not at the point that I want to be at, but I'm just going to keep doing it, keep doing it because it's really good for the baby. And she actually really enjoys it more than formula. So I give her both, but she enjoys the breast milk much more. So that's honestly what keeps me going. Um, I want to be at the point where I can start a freezer stash, um, but I'm just taking it day by day and we're slowly getting there. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all because baby... Look at that breast milk. That's three ounces right there. Okay. So that's like an ounce and a half from each breast. We're getting somewhere. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated with my supply and if I pretend like if I produce more. Um, but yeah. So I've been taking these vitamins. Where are they? These milk flow capsules, they help with my production and I also take the mommy tea to help with the production. Um, just because right now she's drinking about three ounces, so I guess that's fine. Um, but she is going to be a month on Wednesday, so pretty soon three ounces isn't going to be enough for her. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Hi guys! <laughs> So it is currently Wednesday, I mean Tuesday, 21st. Um, Amazon packages. And I wanted to open it and show you guys what I got. So tomorrow my baby will be a month old. Um, so I ordered her some stuff because I'm going to take some pictures at home. But I wanted to show you guys. I went to the mall yesterday and I got her some stuff. Not much, but... I got her this cute little onesie, well, pajama. It's zero to three months. It was so cute and pink, so I love it. And then I got her a few sandals, little shoes, um, and these pair are my favorite because they're so cute. All for the summertime. And then I ordered some stuff off of Amazon because I said, I told you guys, I'm gonna take pictures here at home tomorrow of her. So I had to order some stuff. So I ordered her some bows because she don't have no bows that fit her. This is like a pack of like 16 and they're coming in all different colors. I then got this thing for her car seat because when I got my nails done, it'd be so hard to get her out that car seat. So, for any of my mamas who be struggling, I just put you on. Next package. I'm so excited. I got her more bows. Because I want to start putting bows on her. This was a pack of 30. A pack of 30 for like $16. So, and it comes in all different colors. So, now my baby got bows for days. I got her these little socks. To go with her outfit for her pictures. And then I also got her these headbands. To go with her pictures. But... She has her first birthday party to go to next month. So I'm going to use one of these as well. Okay, so these are what they are looking like. So cute. And I was literally like, 
I was literally like $12. So that's for tomorrow for her pictures. I'm going to show you guys what outfit I got her. What else did I order? Oh, I ordered flowers for her pictures. I got roses. I don't know how I'm going to set it up yet, but... So I bought her this while I was pregnant. Um, and yeah, I want to do like a little series on my Instagram where I capture pictures of her every month at home on a budget. So she's going to wear this little dress. It's so cute. It's like a mauve color. It has like shimmer. I'm going to pair it with probably either the white socks or this like pink shade right here. And then I'm going to use one of these bows and then put the flowers all around her. So that's for tomorrow. Um, I also bought her some little shoes, but they probably won't fit her. So um, I'm just not going to put it on her. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys real quick me unpackaging all the stuff that I got her. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go pump start dinner now that she's sleeping because i just took her a bath um and finally got her down she's been so tired she fights her sleep a lot so yeah i'm gonna pump start dinner and then it's only two more days until my nail appointment so before i'm out here back on my bs segment like, nah. um but yeah See you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. So it is 9.45 on Wednesday, the 23rd. My daughter's a month old today. Um, but she's currently sleeping right now. Um, and I'm pumping because I haven't pumped since last night. My boobs are full. So, in the background. So I pumped about an ounce manually because my boobs were hurting um but i feel like the manual pump wasn't getting it out so i flopped my electrical ones on real quick just to see how much milk they get on because so yeah this is milk from yesterday that i pumped i'm gonna add that ounce in there and then add whatever else i get it just trying to I did give her some this morning, so it was there was more in there, but I gave her some milk this morning, some breast milk. So that's why that's why it ain't as full. Being that she's sleeping, I'm gonna take this time to make myself some breakfast, some coffee because I need coffee. I'm obsessed with coffee in the morning, so I'm gonna make some coffee, eat something. start editing this video so that way i'm gonna have it for me and i just want you to know that your girl's getting her nails done tomorrow i'm so excited because like i just want to feel like myself so i'm doing my nails tomorrow and then i have my lash appointment on saturday which i'm so excited for because i haven't had my lashes done since before i gave birth like for my girls that get their lashes done you know so yeah hi guys it's thursday the final we're finally here today's the day i'm gonna be getting my nails done um it's currently like 12 about to be one um i'm gonna pump a little i'm cleaning up um before she gets here and i'm so excited i just can't wait to start feeling like myself again um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I got this new nose ring when I went to the mall the other day. Excuse my pores. Um, but it's so cute. It's a little butterfly. I love it. I had the other side of my nose pierced, but ended up falling out. And I never, like, got a new nose ring. I kind of just let it fall out. 
um and i wanted to get it re-pierced when i was pregnant but you can't get a piercing when you're pregnant so being now that i'm no longer pregnant i am gonna get my other side redone um just because i miss it i always loved having both my nose both um, both sides pierced so i'm definitely gonna do that sometime next week hopefully i don't have to get a new hole hopefully you could just open the one that's there um but yeah so i got this little cute one and then i got a stud that i'm gonna put on the other side and then tomorrow i have my lash appointment at 10 a.m which i'm so excited about like so excited about all i need is my nails and my lashes done and i'm set so your girl will be looking alive again um but yeah i'll try to film a little bit of doing my lashes it's a little hard though um but we'll see i'm thinking about dyeing my hair black but the only thing that's keeping me back from doing it is that i change my mind a lot so right now i want it black with next week i want it blonde um, and black is a hard color to come back from so I might just do a dark brown because I dyed my hair when I was pregnant like a dark brown but for some reason it started turning red might just be the hairstylist I went to so I'm definitely gonna dye it again because that red color is not it for me um, but yeah I want to show you guys what I'm planning to do on my nails nothing crazy being that i have the baby and i don't want to like scratch her and stuff but this is what i'm looking to do something like this i don't know if you guys can see the design so cute i'll probably do a little shorter than that length because again i have the baby i don't want to like scratch her and stuff but i love hold on i love that design it's so pretty so yeah, I will definitely add in some footage of her doing my nails in the process. Good morning, it's Friday, it's a 20-something, it's like 9.30 in the morning, I'm currently on my way to my lash appointment, finally, um, but before I stop at the lash appointment, I gotta stop at the bank, get some money, and then I'm probably gonna stop and get a coffee because I didn't have time to make coffee home so i'm gonna do that okay so yeah i'm on my way to the bank first because my lash tech only takes cash so i'm gonna stop at the bank trying to be responsible I'm gonna stop at the bank first so i got that cash for her and then stop at Duncan and get me a coffee um i don't think i'm gonna be able to record like her doing my lashes because obviously my eyes are gonna be closed or whatever but i will show you guys once everything is done i'm so excited because i haven't done my lashes in the longest and once you start doing your lashes it's kind of hard to stop it becomes like an addiction um because it's so convenient it's so easy like I'm not really much of a makeup wearer. I know I do makeup, but to be wearing makeup all the day, all the time, or like to be sitting there putting strip lashes on, like don't nobody got time for that. If you could do that, kudos to you, but 
I'm not doing all of that. That's why I always get my lashes done because I literally just wake up, brush them, and be out the door. So I just finished, guys. I love that. They're so full right now, but once they fall out, they'll look 10 times better. But yeah, I love them so much. I'm going to head home now to the baby because I miss her. Um, but it was good to get away for a little bit. But yeah, I love my lashes, feeling cute or whatever.